Okay, y'all, what is that on my head? Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ray and this is Ray of Beauty. Okay, so in today's video, we are gonna be doing a get unready with me where we will be taking off this face. Thankfully, it is a light makeup day and there is not a lot of work to be done, but we will be going through my nighttime skincare routine and my exfoliation process because tonight is my exfoliation night and I am so excited. I love exfoliation nights. So, hey, let's get into it. Let's head on to the restroom and get ready for bed. All right, let's go. Okay, y'all, so I have my headband on, my ears. Um, so to start out, I always double cleanse when I, whenever I wear any type of makeup product on my face. Tonight, I'll be using the micellar water um, as my pre-cleanse. Typically, for my pre-cleanse, I do like to use um, like a cleansing balm, especially when I wear heavier makeup. Um, I always use the Drunk Elephant or I believe it's Pharmacy also has a really good uh, cleansing balm to break through your makeup. But I am out, so the micellar water will have to do tonight. So I'm just going to take that on at Cotton Rounds and just start to break down at my makeup and take it off. Okay, so after I'm done with my micellar water, now it's time for my cleanser step. Uh, for my cleanser, I'm using Youth to the People. It is like currently my favorite cleanser. It is the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. And I just love like everything about this. I love the consistency. I love the way it smells. This is, yeah, this is the cleanser. All right, so I always go in with about two pumps on my hand. And then I just get a nice lather going. There we go. All right, so a big part of my cleanser step, I always make sure I use my hands and massage the cleanser in for a minute. So I always count to a minute. Okay, so when I cleanse my face, I mean, this is me personally, I love using facial tools. Um, now, like I said, this is me. It has been proven by dermatologists, estheticians, that you do not need a facial tool in order to cleanse your skin, okay? You don't need it. Me, personally, I love to use facial tools. Um, since Clarisonic is no longer with us, RIP, I picked up the Foreo, um, I think it's just the Foreo Mini, but I use this like every time I wash my face. So that is day and night. And what I do love about this is since the bristles are a silicone, um, they're really soft. So I never feel like it's like an overuse on my face. And I just lightly glide it on. I don't press it in too hard. And I just feel, I don't know, it just gives me that extra insurance that I have a nice deep clean on my face. Now, like I said, this is not necessary. Okay, I'm back. My face is all dry. Y'all, I am so proud that I did not get water all on my shirt. Now look, usually if this camera wasn't rolling, all of this, all this would be wet, okay? Um, yeah, and that's just not cute. So I really tried my hardest, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, to dry my face, I always use these white bamboo towels that I, I actually get these from Amazon. I forget the brand name, but I will put it in the video like over here or something. Um, but yeah, I always use these white bamboo towels to dry my face. Uh, what I like about them, you get about six, um, maybe eight, I don't know, in the pack. And what I do is I only use one side, uh, one time of washing my face. So I'll use one side at in the morning, then I'll use the other side, uh, the other clean side at night. 
then move on to the next clean towel so I never reuse the same dirty towel twice. As I mentioned, it is my exfoliating night. Yay! Um, for tonight, I am using the Ordinaries what is this? It's a long word. Um, AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. Y'all, I love a chemical exfoliant. Uh, with this, I think you could use it like up to twice a week. I use it one time a week. It is pretty strong. Um, and I leave it on no longer for 10 minutes. So I just take it and can y'all even see what I'm doing? No, you can't. Okay, so I take it, as you see, I try not to put the dropper directly on my face because um, I heard that's unsanitary. So yeah, I just like to spread it around. There we go. All right, I know it looks like a murder scene. It is okay. I'm supposed to look like this. I will be beautiful after. <laughs> Um, but guys, I have my timer set um, with this. The instructions say do not leave on for more than 10 minutes. Please stick by that. Do not leave this on for more than 10 minutes. Um, I did like one time I forgot. I In my head, I was like, okay, I'm going to set a mental timer based on my clock on my computer. At the time I was watching James Welsh. Uh, which is the skincare guru. So the irony that I was watching James Welsh um, talk about skincare and I was abusing skincare unknowingly. Yeah, so like I, I was watching, I was like, okay, at this minute mark, get up and wash your face. And the video was so good. I was so into it that it wasn't until after the video that I started feeling like this little tingle where I was like, oh my God, like my skin is about to be on fire. Ran in the restroom to wash it off. Um, I had a slight irritation. Like I didn't use too many products after because yeah, um, you know, I had a slight reaction, nothing too major. Um, it, I was fine, like within a day or two, but you know, that was my bad. Um, so set a timer when you, when you use this, you don't want to be watching one of the Welsh twins videos and be so entertained that you forget and then get like a chemical burn on your face. That's, that's not cute. Another thing I did want to add, um, as you saw, I did use my Foreo earlier before this step um, in my cleansing step. Please be careful when you do it. So like my skin is used to this mask. I could take pretty harsh exfoliants and the Foreo does slightly act um, like a minor exfoliant as well, like a physical exfoliant. So you really want to be careful when you go in with something like as strong as this. Um, or any type of pill. Like I said, I can handle it, but you know, just go use that with caution. Um, if you do use anything that slightly resembles um, any type of physical exfoliant, really even like, even just cleansing with your hands. Um, sometimes before you use this peeling solution, if say, if you rub, your face too hard um, when you're cleansing your face it can lead to irritation so just please whenever you use any type of peeling solution any type of chemical um, exfoliant please just be very very careful in your skincare all right so now that that step is done y'all i just love how my skin feels and looks after i do a chemical peel it's amazing. Uh, so next is my toner. So look, don't come for my toner. Okay, I already know what y'all are going to say. I don't care. It works for me and I like it. <laughs> so I'm using my Neutrogena. Uh, this is the alcohol-free toner. Don't not come for me because I'll destroy you. Um, and the reason why I like this toner, one is because I'm like, 
a creature of, was it habit? So really I'm just used to this toner and I like the way it makes my skin feel. It just makes my skin feel like hydrated after cleansing my face um, to get rid of any like any type of dryness or tight feeling. Um, so I just really like how this, um, how this is on my skin. The, okay, this does have a fragrance. You know, it has a smell to it. The fragrance, maybe because I'm used to it, I used to really not notice the fragrance until people talked about how fragrant this is. So I think now I'm just used to it, but also, I've never had a reaction um, to the fragrance in this. Um, a lot of my skincare, not all of my skincare is fragrant. Um, most of the time I do avoid like overly powering scents in my skincare just because like that's not really my thing. But I don't know. I don't really believe the argument that like all of your skincare just has to be like completely fragrance free. One, that's very hard to find. Um, and two, that's just like a scare tactic. Unless you have very, very, very sensitive skin. Um, and then of course, like when you have products with perfume, you know, you could develop like a reaction further down the line. I've been using this for years. I've never developed a reaction, so. It's good in my book. Toner step while my toner is still on my face before it actually dries down. I like to go in with my um, hyaluronic acid. Um, I use the, I'm currently using the Ordinary's hyaluronic acid. So right now I'm rocking with the Ordinary and the Ordinary has been, you know, treating me right for, um, for some time, so. Okay, so while that's on my face and while I can still feel it before it completely dries down, I like to, I guess, seal it. I don't know if seal is the right word, but I like to go in with a spritz of water on my face um, just to keep that hydration um, on my skin so my skin doesn't dry out. That was an intense spray. <laughs> that... I okay <laughs> that was intense usually it's a light spritz but you know whatever <laughs> my bottle is like showing up this is supposed to work like I said as a sealant to keep um moisture in your face so that hyaluronic acid can actually draw that moisture into your face and keep you nice and hydrated okay so once that finally dries down on my face then i like to go in with my the ordinary uh niacinamide serum as my next step and you know it was so funny it took me so long to become a believer in niacinamide serum or even see a purpose of needing it but with niacinamide it is supposed to regulate sebum and reduce pores minimize pores. Uh, it, it took me a while to actually become a believer in niacinamide i just never saw a reason for it i will say that it does help uh, sometimes i get some like i don't know if you would call it congestion like up in my forehead area it does help with those little bumps and also my sebum production um so i do like how it did regulate that for my skin. And yeah, it just made it so much better. So my next step would usually be after niacinamide. I usually use my Dr. Dennis Gross uh, retinol products. I'm not doing that tonight. Um, one, I just, uh, I just kind of, really I'm lazy. Okay, let me stop. So instead of my retinol, what I am going to go in with is my eye cream. Can y'all see? Kind of. Um, so with my eye cream, I use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. Um, with this, why do I use this? I use this because when I was in search of an eye cream, 
I was actually looking to find like a, a higher price eye cream than like the standard drugstore eye creams that I used in the past. Um, I was on the Sephora website and I believe this had hyaluronic acid or some ingredient that works like hyaluronic acid. At this time, I was very obsessed with hyaluronic acid. I wanted it in like every skincare product of mine. Um, but anyways, I found this and the reviews, you know, it had good reviews and I just never looked back. Creature, I have it. Um, <laughs> so that's why I use this currently. And I just take a little on my nail and just dot it with this. It says that it smooths, brightens, and depuffs. Um, I will say that it does smooth. I guess maybe brighten. I don't know. I never had to really deal with like um, dark under eyes um well i have like this one little dark spot like right here now because of another eye cream that i was using um one day i will rant about this brand because yeah their eye cream sucks okay it needs to be pulled off of the market um you know, we will never be good. Me and that brand will never be good anymore. Uh, I got it as like a, a Sephora sample. And after I, I was experiencing irritation, I still used it because I don't know, it wasn't even like, a, oh, like I'll get used to it. Like it's all good. No, like I didn't, I don't know. Like, I guess I just kept telling myself, I didn't want to believe that the eye cream was giving me a bad reaction. I, I kept using it and using it. Y'all, my eyes got so dry and flaky. They were itchy. They got swollen, puffy. Like I looked crazy. They were all scaly under here. So because of that, um, I have like, can y'all see? It's like a dark spot right here. Mm-hmm. From this one brand's under eye cream. Like I said, I'll rant about it later. I'm trying to go to bed tonight, so I don't got the time. But yeah, so my go-to eye cream right now, at least for nighttime, is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I do use another eye cream during the day. Oh, an essential step in my um, nighttime routine. So... I love soft lips, okay? So what I did is I exfoliated my lips off camera because the way I exfoliate, it's kind of ghetto. You know, I just go in with, um, what is that? <laughs> Cream. Just go in with some Vaseline and then I just go to town with a toothbrush to get some of that dead skin off. Um, and when I am finished exfoliating, I like to use my Laneige. I think it's, is that how you pronounce it? Laneige, Laneige, Laneige. All right. Um, I like to use my lip sleeping mask. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this. It lasts so long too. And it, it smells so good. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. I actually got this as a free sample from Sephora because I used to be against sleeping masks. Like, why can't you just use Vaseline? I, I'm still a believer that, you know, you don't have to, like, you don't have to buy a sleeping mask for your lips. Just use Vaseline and pack it on at night. Lips perfect in the morning. But, y'all, I got this as a sample um, in a Sephora uh, package. And I fell in love. Look, and at the time that I got this as a sample... My lips were wrecked. They were so dry. Um, I think it was over the summer. Like I was just stressing. <laughs> My lips were bleeding. Nothing was working. But I used this. Y'all, after one night, my lips were like baby soft back to normal. So yeah. I just like to pack it on thick. Um, <laughs> so I use this every night, about every night. Actually. I do alternate between this and the Milk Makeup. Uh, I think it's their Melatonin 
lip mask. So yeah, so I'm either using my Laneige or I am using my makeup lip mask. And if for whatever reason I can't find uh, one of the two, I'm using Vaseline, okay? <laughs> I'm going in with my sweet almond oil. Um, I picked this up from Whole Foods. Um, Y'all, I love... Look at that. Oops, that's kind of a lot, but I love using oil on my face. Can y'all see? It's like gonna drop off my hand. I'm trying to show y'all real quick. Um, but y'all, I love using oil on my face. Like for me, it's an essential step. Um, I always describe my skin as more like more like in the middle, like on the normal side. Um, like I have parts of my face that get kind of dry, like my forehead. Sometimes, like, if it reacts to something, it's going to go dry. Um, and maybe I'll get, like, oily, like, in this area. But other than that, I just always categorize my skin as normal. Um, you know, it's a nice, it's a healthy in-between. Still, oil, add it. If it's not in your skincare routine, add it in. Sometimes, like... Even if you're oily, sometimes you might be oily because your skin is dry um, and your body or your face is like overproducing oil to like accommodate for all your dryness. So if you add oil into your skincare routine, it's going to balance out, okay? And your face is going to stop overproducing that oil. I like sweet almond oil because it is like a lighter oil. It's thin. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy like a coconut oil would do. Don't use coconut oil on your face as your face oil. I really don't even like to see y'all use coconut oil to take off y'all's makeup. We have moved past that, okay? Stop putting coconut oil on your face oh my god please stop it but with that said um yeah i like sweet almond oil because it is thinner i don't experience like uh breakouts i don't feel like my pores are clogged with using this oil so that is my oil step my sweet almond oil when i tell y'all i use it all the time i use it day and night even in the morning, even on days where I'm going to wear makeup, um, on when I'm wearing makeup, I do use a little less, but I still like to put a little oil on my face uh, just to keep my face hydrated throughout the day um, and just to keep it nice and moisturized because I love the way it feels. I love the way my skin looks. And also, I just feel like I have this radiant glow throughout the day. And when you wear oil like at night to sleep and it just absorbs so beautifully in your skin, y'all, when you wake up, your skin is going to look so hydrated, so beautiful, just with this natural glow. Thank me later, okay? <laughs> All right, so y'all, let's move to the moisturizer, our final step. Okay, so for my night moisturizer, I am using um, this product, Nikayo. It is the Youth Infused Daily Defense Cream. Y'all, I was sent this complimentary for review um, purposes through Influencer and this brand. Um, actually, something that I did not realize when um, I was first sent this product is it is black owned. So that is definitely exciting. Um, it is a black woman who owns this brand. Now this brand is described as uh, a clean brand. So it's a clean skincare brand. It's paraben free. I'm like trying to read my computer. Um, I don't know how to say this. Phi phthalate free y'all know what that is shout out to y'all um sulfate free and as i mentioned it is black woman owned it is a cream so and it's y'all this is thick okay you only need a little um with this you can use it day and night 
Most of the time, I only use this at night um, as my night moisturizer. I have like a, a lighter moisturizer that I do use in the daytime that has SPF in it. But yeah, I just put it all on my face. Just rubbing this in. Y'all, another cool thing about this brand is it is sold at Target. And I am a Target stan. Like, I am always at Target. It's actually very sad. Um, <laughs> I go to Target to pick up things that I need. I go to Target to pick up things I don't need. I go to Target just sometimes to pass the time. So far, guys, um, I, I do really like this moisturizer. I've been using it probably for a week. Um, I think I got this moisturizer a week ago. For me, it's still too early to say like yay or nay, but look, in that week, I have not um, had a breakout. I have not had a bad reaction to this product. And this, especially mixed with like the rest of my skincare and my face oil, when I wake up, my skin is so hydrated. It stays hydrated throughout the night. And I definitely love that. This product also does have a slight scent to it, um, like a fragrance. It's not overwhelming, um, nothing that I couldn't take. Like there are some fragrances that are just like, what, what is going on? Like there was a Olay moisturizer, or was it Neutrogena? I don't know, it was like some type of face cream that I bought at one time. And y'all, that perfume smell, like it gave me a headache i wanted to throw up this has like a very very pleasant scent um you know and it's not like i said it's not overwhelming it hasn't given me a headache so that's good but yeah i really like it so far and i like the way it makes my skin look i like the way it nourishes my skin so who knows this might be permanently added to my lineup of skincare hey, y'all so that is it for this video um loving the way my skin looks i love that like glow that i get at the end of my skincare routine y'all i'm just so relaxed ready for bed i'm gonna sleep so good tonight now that my face is all clean and hydrated so yes y'all it is the end of the video so you know what time it is it is time for my favorites um and it actually goes in line with our skincare so yay um so my favorite uh thing today what i like to use when i'm doing my my spa nights my any type of skincare routine um i like to burn candles y'all i am a candle fanatic y'all are gonna see a couple of candles listed um in my favorites but this candle is what i was burning um while i was shooting this video and doing my skincare routine uh this candle who is this by sensational i don't i don't know who that is um but it's just called free spirit i have no idea what the actual scent is on it i just know i like it picked up this candle from tj maxx where i pick up most of my candles um i like to get them there because they're nice and cheap okay um and i buy so many that like you know it's good to get a good bargain here and there so tj maxx and marshall's actually are like my favorite places to go find like unique candles, unique scents and everything like that. So yes, I am a candle hoarder. So this was my my candle of the night um, that I chose. I like just put it out. Y'all see that smoke? Um, <laughs> I tried to smell it. That was, that was a fail. Okay, no. All right, so that's all I have for y'all tonight in this video. My bed is... <laughs> calling me <laughs> um but yeah thank you so much for watching guys make sure that you like down below and also if you are new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button below okay um it'll really help me out a lot and i definitely appreciate that guys um but yeah so that's it take care and remember in everything you do make sure
what is this in everything you do guys make sure that you radiate positivity